Okay, so we have a propaganda apparatus in Sweden that is alive and well. This is very obvious. Anyone who's missed that is either in the propaganda business himself and is playing dumb, or is genuinely dumb and has never thought about why our so-called non-partisan public service television and radio is lodged full of Green Party supporters. About 52% of the journalists working in our public broadcasting service voted for the Green Party. You know, the feminist, jihadi-loving, white male-hating party? So a little bit more than half of the people who are supposed to use our taxes to give us non-politically biased news all vote for a radical leftist party that loves multiculturalism and calls everyone who refuses to fall in line for racists, sexists, homophobes, etc. etc. But when tax-funded propagandists for once don't fling shit around themselves like schizophrenic monkeys, well then the private actors take over the steering wheel instead. The charity organization Individuell Människohjälp, roughly translated to Individual Relief, have recently released a video called The New Country, which has unleashed some pretty serious rage from the public. First, take a big step back and literally FUCK YOUR OWN FACE! So I'm not really gonna say anything else about this, I'm just gonna watch the video and see how bad it really is, because I think this is kind of interesting. It actually takes a lot to piss off a Swede. Okay, so, let's see. Det finns ingen väg tillbaka. Sverige blir aldrig som det varit. Europa är i förändring och Sverige behövs som en trygg plats för människor på flykt. Okay, I'm just gonna stop you right there. Um, what? Sweden is to become a safe space for refugees. We've been taking in more and more refugees since the 1970s and mysteriously that was about the same time where we also stopped completely caring if they had any jobs lined up for them upon coming here. Before the 1970s, all the way back to the post-war period in our history, we've had strict rules regarding immigration where we actually put demands upon the people coming here. Now pretty much all you need to do is to show that you're breathing and they will just throw money at you and give you an apartment. You already have your tax-funded, privileged safe space for immigrants. You you have it already. Nu måste vi söka vägar framåt och hitta ett sätt för alla att leva tillsammans. Well, no. Um, here's what's happened. You're in a situation where your life is threatened and you then seek asylum here. I want to put some real emphasis on the word seek. If you're seeking asylum in a country, it's basically like saying, quickly, please help me inside. Please, I'll do anything. Just save me from being murdered. Nowhere in that sentence, in that plea for aid, is there even as much as a tiny insinuation of any bargaining power being held by the person seeking safety. Of course not. The person can make no demands. None. They have a roof over their head, they have food, they have clothes on their back. That's all the person is going to get. And they're not going to be murdered. That's the the deal we have. That's all the person should be offered. Anyone thinking for a second that they have this right to some cultural or social reformation of a well-functioning, highly developed society, such as we have in Sweden, needs to get his or her shit straight. The Swedish citizen has no responsibility whatsoever to make anyone fit in. That's the immigrant's responsibility. And for some reason, certain groups of people never bitch about this. You don't hear this coming from Asians. You don't hear these complaints coming from the people from Bosnia who fled the war in the 90s. While others are now waving around their racist cards while continuously demanding shit. Learn the language, get an education, get a job, pay taxes. Your religion is to be left at home when you go to work since we are and are to remain a secular nation. An immigrant's shitty views on homosexuals and women are to be kept for themselves since we respect these groups in our countries. And if you want to have a bled-dry animal carcass served to lunch at work in order to feel included in Swedish society, then bring that shit in your own lunchbox and keep everyone else out of it. Not a single Swede who is a citizen here needs to adapt to anyone else coming here. At all. You hammered on the door, we let you in, now work to sort your shit out like the rest of us. Det är dags att inse att nya svenskar kommer att ta plats. Yeah, I've noticed that already. I've noticed how many of our different counties are buying up apartments and making students unable to find a place to live in order to make room for these new Swedes. Med kultur, språk och vanor. Och det är dags att se det som en positiv kraft. Look, a culture consists of many different ideas. These ideas, which are the foundation of a person's culture, is what countries are built upon. And a majority of the people coming here come from countries that are complete shit. I'm I'm sorry if that insults someone in any way. I don't... But they tend to be. If comparatively, these countries tend to be complete garbage. 
These countries tend to have cultures and traditional values which are riddled with a nearly medieval lack of understanding regarding science, philosophy, and human rights. These ideas are coming from countries which are by more or less all humanitarian organizations working towards the prevention of female sexual violence, for instance, considered to be the most dangerous places in the world to be a woman. I'm sorry if I don't, you know, if it insults you that I don't consider such cultures to be equal to our Western ideals. Please explain to me how cultures which defend honor killings, genital mutilation, racism, sexism, homophobia, Jew hating, Christian hating, Hindu hating, acceptance towards practicing religious and politically enforced violence, how is any of this considered to be a positive force? Or are we just talking about their food culture again? Att vara svensk måste få vara mer än hudfärg och födelse ut. Det måste få vara du, jag och alla tillsammans. Yeah. Being Swedish is more than skin color and where you're born. That's why I consider a lot of immigrants, even though they're officially citizens, to not be Swedish. If you consider Swedish women to be okay to rape, since they're not clean and pure women of your own race, then you're not a Swede. If you consider our legal system to come second to your theocratic set of laws, then you're free to go back to from where you came and practice those legal rights there. You're not a countryman of mine if I offer you a fair and secular, non-biased trial and you still won't treat me equally in return. If a so-called Swede of any race converts to Islam, goes down and butchers women and children with ISIS, then he or she is not what I would consider to be a Swede. That person is only dead weight who I'm very glad that we get rid of. Det är inte bara nya svenskar som ska integreras. Alla behöver integreras, även etablerade svenskar. And here we go again. We have people living in Sweden today who have an unbroken bloodline all the way back to Gustav Vasa, a Swedish king who is considered to be somewhat of the father of our nation. People who live in Sweden who have an ancestry reaching only three to four generations back are extremely rare, and a majority of Swedes clearly bear testimony of our homogenous cultural and racial history. As recently as during the 1960s, Sweden had only 4% of the country's entire population which were immigrants. This also included returning Swedes. So it was a vast majority of ethnic white Swedes who built this country and made Sweden into what in the 1960s, already then, was one of the world's richest countries regarding quality of life, technological advances and culture. So is Sweden, relatively isolated from immigration, that already back then managed to create all of that for itself, is now expected to change its ways in order to please people coming from countries which you wouldn't even want to be forced to have a stopover in. The people suggesting this shit and their historical ignorance and white self-contempt is just baffling. Integration handlar om ömsesidighet. No, it's about accepting how the show was run in the country that took you in, falling in line and doing your best to contribute. It's a one-way street. Nowhere in the deal to help people away from getting murdered did we also say, don't worry, we'll reform our society to pander to every whim. Låt oss skapa en framtid som bygger på lika delar realitet och framtidsro. You people's complete lack of a clear understanding of reality is the primary reason why you also are limited to the belief of a better future. You don't have the slightest clue of how an economy works, how cultures function in contrast to each other, or how racial divides between different ethnic groups won't just change because you hope so, or you believe that they will. You people just believe in multiculturalism, you have nothing else to offer. We have yet to see any form of a success story from this narrative you're constantly peddling. Låt oss bygga ett land där vi sätter hat och rädsor åt sidan. So my very legitimate fears of ISIS terror cells in Sweden, combined with our increase in gang violence and deep-seated racial hatred expressed by different minority groups against other groups and ethnic Swedes, is just something we all should just put away. Noted. Vi har alla det nya landet inom oss. I våra synsätt, tankar och handlingar. Det är dags att vi tillsammans formar ett land som är stolt, inkluderande och hållbart. We already have such a country, for fuck's sake. These kinds of organizations have been working day and night for years to hammer any sense of national pride out of Swedes, and now these cucked cultural Marxist assholes want to remodel this great country into Swedistan and tell us to all hold hands. They want us all to regress hundreds of years by accepting a plethora of intellectually cancerous ideas and concepts just to show our tolerance. 
We've done that already. It doesn't work. Everyone has pretty much figured this out by now, all except these idiots, people like these morons. A rapidly growing group of people in Sweden now want to cut immigration, yet this little movement, who obviously have way too much money, missed the reality check. Tillsammans formar ett land som är stolt, inkluderande och hållbart. Något nytt. Det nya landet. My god, this was stupid as... These groups full of university educated social studies majors are full of untethered idiocy. People are not in support of this shit. A growing majority doesn't want it. Get it through your thick heads. We've had a giant rape fest of a summer, a thinning police force, increased suburban violence, ISIS terror cells, disappearing asylum seeking man children who are the fuck knows where, and as the cherry on top of this turd mountain, we got ourselves a historically weak government, which I hope I'm not alone in wishing would just roll over and die so we can have an earlier election. I'm going to do my utmost to make sure that your idea of a new country, your new Sweden, crashes and burns. And it's completely doable. People are beginning to get fed up with being raped, robbed and threatened and being put on the sideline culturally, economically and legally. Because unlike you red shits, I dislike the idea of a revolution, of vigilantism, of people being dragged out and clubbed in the streets in front of their children. I'm in favor of listening to the people. I like the idea of those in power actually listening to people, having a dialogue. We need that. Because this kind of inflammatory bullshit propaganda just adds to the rage that's already began to ooze forth. You see, here's the thing. I don't want your new country. I want back our old.